yesterday, Stockholm was struck by an uh, act of terrorism. I was shooting my video when uh, reports were coming in, so I just figured we're gonna jump back to the morning where it all started, where I didn't know that this was gonna happen, and then we're gonna come back here. So before and after the attack. Friday morning, that means I pick up the camera camera and do a video, no matter what the cost. I know what you're thinking, should I like be working or something? Yeah, I should, but Haley's sick, she's been puking for one and a half days, so today she's feeling better, but the regulations say, or the recommendations that when your kid is well again, keep them home for 48 hours after they stop puking so they don't go to daycare and infect everybody else. So I'm working from home today, watching some Formula One, eating egg and scrambled egg and bacon breakfast and the uh, sun is shining. I'm being stared out by the dog. You want some bacon? Yes you do. But you ain't getting any. Time to set up a proper workstation here. And we're online. And Haley wants me to chase her with the quadcopter. Whoa, this one is so tricky. And we're out of battery. We're out of battery, sorry Haley. No battery. So here comes the first working stint for today. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm gonna do a lot of work. We have a delivery today. And you will have to play alone for a bit. And I'll see you at lunch or something. Lunch break. Hey. I did a lot of phone calls and uh, now we have to eat some food. The weather is great. There is like no wind and uh, yeah, everything's awesome. Let's get some lunch, Haley. Mat. 
So there is this guy which I found on YouTube. His name is Rob Molelli. Molelli, I hope I pronounce it right, Rob. He lives down under in Australia and uh, he gave up his daily work to pursue photography. And he has an Instagram account, I'll link it down below. He's a really good photograph and um, makes some awesome pictures. And finally he got out of the closet, made his first video, his vlog. And you did great, Rob. So I would inspire all of you watching my channel to try to make your own vlogs or show your daily life. Uh, most most people think that their lives are boring, but for somebody else living somewhere else, new impressions, things are interesting. So do like Rob did. I will link Rob's no. I will link Rob's video up here, and you can watch it and. Uh, Subscribe to his channel because then subscribe to Rob's channel because then he will have to make more vlogs So I want to see more of Australia in the vlog perspective Hail time to take Haley and the dog outside for some air and then do some more work lunch is over The last time I the last time I came out here it was for lunch but now it's just to get air because the work after lunch nearly killed me we're going to pick up William from daycare hey Alupa ah. hey Alupa hey Alupa hey Alupa ah. only Lynn left and the entire family is back home and Friday can kickstart. Friday night can kickstart. I'm tired from work. Well, this day took a different turn than I expected it to. Från andra tre personer döda och så många som åtta personer skadade. Hur allvarligt det vet vi inte. Reports are coming in of a terrorist attack in central Stockholm. Um, some kind of smaller truck has been hijacked and driven straight into like a shopping mall. They've confirmed two people to be dead and uh, I suppose there are somebody injured as well. No information about it yet so far. I mean, Sweden has been spared from terror for a long time. A few years back there was an attack where a suicide bomber went into an alley where there was no people and uh, somehow uh, the bomb detonated and he died nobody got injured like a miracle or maybe changed his mind and uh, it's, ve it's very rare that we have terrorist attacks in sweden so i just figure i'd take a moment to share that with you also it's the society in sweden and in europe is very open if you want to make an attack you can do it pretty much anywhere because there are not military guarding the streets nobody wants to live in a city where things look like that so we have open society and uh, there is really no point in speculating at anything at the moment but i mean with the war on isis and everything going on they are like encouraging single person actions throughout the world because maybe their their ship is sinking i don't know so this could be the result of that the result of desperation maybe that uh, one single terrorist doesn't attack and uh, kill some innocent people which is messed up so i don't really feel like doing a video anymore today this this will get anybody down so i'm just gonna hang out with my kids and uh, Lynn should be home in any minute now and uh, we will take some time to reflect over this and uh, tomorrow is Saturday so I guess we will know more about the attack then yeah 
just terrible. Hang in there, guys. Take care of one another. We're gonna come through this. I'm sure of it. See you around.